Spoonie G. Spoonie G. Spoonie G. Spoonie G and the Treacherous Three. Um, of course, the, the Treacherous Three originally is um, Kumo D, Spoonie G, and myself. Um, you know, I don't know how many people are really even aware of that, but um, before Spoonie made his, you know, his song, Spoonie Rap, he was a member of the Treacherous Three. And, um, I remember one day we was, we were practicing, you know, we were scheduled to be practicing at Easy Lee's house, and you know we're there, uh, Mo, myself, and Lee, we're you know at the crib, spinning some joints, you know, getting on the mic and whatever, just going over a couple of routines that we was preparing to practice, and Spoonie hadn't showed up yet. Um, Spoonie rings the bell. Spoonie come in and got acetate on his arm. Spoonie just walk in with like, yo, check this out. And um, I didn't know what to make of it, so you know, he put the record on on the acetate. It was one, you know, one of them big metal plates. What they had prior to it um, being put on vinyl. Um, he played one full cello, two full time. Come on, boom, boom, boom. Um, and he's standing there with this childish look on his face. You know, you could see a sense of accomplishment, but also a sense of like, I don't know how the fella's gonna take this, so let me just break this ice now, or let me just, you know, get this out the way, whatever the confrontation or the conflict will be, because I know that they're gonna be probably disappointed. So he's got these, you know, different emotions written on his face. And he's standing there with a smirk on his face, and everybody's just quietly listening. Um, and the record was cool, the record was hot. Actually, you know, the, the track and the beat to this day is still, you know, one of the highest, most, most, most played um, hip hop joints, or recognizable joints, I should say. Um, but um, quite honestly, I was furious. I was mad, I was mad as hell. Because um, here we are with an opportunity to be one of the first groups, one of the first legitimate hip hop groups, you know, because our Sugar Hill had, dropped Rappers of Rappers Delight and they weren't an actual group per se. It was just three guys that were put together to um, to make that record. And we were all already established in the small hip hop community that had already existed. And we had an opportunity to, you know, lay some real work down and do some real damage. Um, but he chose, when he had the opportunity to, to record, he went on and did it by himself as opposed to saying, yo, come on. Uh, fellas, I got an opportunity because we didn't have no connections. We heard the Sugar Hill joint. We like, what? We want to make a record. How do we get this done? And here it is. You know, he got an ace in, in his back pocket, and he chose to use it um, on his own by itself. Um, and that's not the first time he's done it. He's done it. That was just the first of many, actually. Let me say that. Um, but at that time, that was the first time I realized that 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 you know some cats are in this business for themselves and that that I don't that I would not enjoy this business as much as I thought prior to I think to he had that. aspirations as we all do to be successful and be a star but um see in contrast to that Spoonie never felt comfortable being on stage or performing by himself and yet, at every turn, he want to go and do his solo thing. When we had opportunities to reveal, make to, to make a real mark as a group, um, I just never really understood that. I never could grasp that. He's just he's a funny cat. It's my brother. I love him to death. But uh, some things that he's done that I'll never understand.